Howdy guys, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today I just want to show you a quick thing on caulking because we're doing some work on this property and the owner says, Kirk, can you take care of this? He had, you know, it's an old building. So he had the stucco coming off right here or buckling. What I did was I just scraped off the buckle where it's normal, 100 years old, it's going to settle. So I scraped that off. And his question was, he says, well, Kirk, I watched a lot of your videos, and you use this mesh tape. I said, well, technically, it's the mesh tape is when we're doing a base coat. We let the base coat set, and then after we moist cure it or hydrate the walls, they tend to crack. So in order for the finished coat not to crack, we put this on the crack. But for this, I wouldn't do it. He says, well, they did it here. I said, I can see that, man. I can see they did it there. You didn't have to tell me that. But when you put fiber mesh tape on something like this, and then you put stucco over it, it, it now you've got a quarter inch over your existing wall. So don't do that. And then I can see the caulking they use here. They use the caulking here with no sand in it. If it has no sand in it, when you trowel it down, it's going to leave this really ugly appearance. So you don't need fiber uh, glass mesh tape for a crack, guys. What you get is find a caulking that has uh, sand in it. This Morflex, um, <laughs> it's M-O-R-F-L-E-X-X. -X. It's always got to have a cute or a sexy name to it. That's where the double X, I'm like where'd that come from? Anyway, the Morflex has got stucco sand in it. If you guys think, well, I can get tile grout tile grout caulking has sand and that sand is too fine it won't match this stucco sand that means you pay a lot for sand guys but anyway I'll show you how we did it I cleaned this out I took a wire brush and I went over it to clean all the dust dirt grime off because nothing in here is the dust dirt and grime and now what I'm going to do is show you a quick thing guys all right let's see um, what I want to do is I want to fill this crack up and if you guys are going to do this, you want to fill the crack. You want to get it in there deep, 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 deep. Get it in there deep. And if it splatters around, that's okay. And because they did a lot of goofy stuff here, I'm going to put some extra. The idea is this caulking here will match the caulking they have. I'm just going to go ahead and get gung-ho and put a whole bunch because... If I put stucco here, what happens? I'm getting ready to do some stucco. It didn't take me a second to just put the stucco here, hit it like that, and say, that's a wrap, guys. That's good. But what will happen? In, say, six months, this building's going to settle. It's going to rain, and that lifts the building. And when it breathes or uh, exhales, it's going to recrack this Morflex or any kind of caulking you get, they also make Quickcrete with stucco sand in it. So the Quickcrete is, uh, is just as good as this. I just happen to have this on the truck. So we put this on here and you say, well, that doesn't match either. It's close to it with the stucco sand. All you need is a green sponge float. And, the, and these green sponge floats, guys, they got these at Home Depot, Lowe's, and most hardware stores. Put a little bit of water on it, get some of that water out. You don't need that much water. And you take this, and just like you would stucco, you feather it in. Bring it down, bring it up here, tap it, and go in circles. Now that is flush and true to the wall. Instead of this big bulge right here, this, it doesn't look pretty, guys. And it's the front of the building, so if you're going to do it, guys, do it right if I want to make it a little extra texture, I can do the patty cake treatment, but as a rule, uh, don't do that with stucco, guys, because that'll crack. Anyway, you see that? That's, that's done, and it's true with the plane right here. Or it's not bulging past like this one. And again, that caulking, I just use more flex or Quickrete, Q-U-I-K-R-E-T-E, -E, like concrete, Quickrete also has sand in it, and they, go, they sell them at Home Depot. Use that, do this, and boom, you're done, guys. And now that, that matches what you have, and it won't re-crack, at least not for a few years, maybe 10 if you're lucky. Uh, anyway, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano. Plastering Jason on the camera. We thank you guys for watching, and as usual, see you guys on the next one.
All right, folks, as always, thank you for watching another Giordano Stucco video. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe so we can keep making them. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. one.